In this video, we're going to be redesigning a bunch of apps. Actually, we're only going to be making two. Don't worry, though, because these are awesome. So I guess we can just jump right into it. And of course, we're going to start with one of the most popular apps of all time, TikTok. And I'm sure everyone here knows what TikTok is, but for those who don't, it's basically an app where anyone can post anything they want. Anything. Now to start this thing off, I made a dark blue background and I had this great idea of putting this lightning around the TikTok logo like it was like electric or something, which meant a lot of work. So I went ahead and got started on that. I took one lightning bolt and I made it that green turquoise-ish color of one side of the TikTok logo. Then I took the other one and I warped it to make it match that shape of the TikTok logo. I then went in with a soft brush and I deleted all these tiny edges that were showing, but it looked like this. What is that? <laughs> After a little bit more messing around, I realized I needed it to completely restart. So I selected the black part of the TikTok logo as a base. I had this idea that I was gonna wrap the lightning around the base and I thought it was really cool in the moment. In the moment. So I went on Google and I searched for a lot more pictures of lightning and yes this took a long time. And so I dropped all those lightning bolts in there and I started putting them down. Oh, yeah, yeah you did. You put those down. down. Oh. oh you put them down. Honestly after doing this for a little bit I realized this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I was sitting here messing around with these lightning bolts for a long time. And then I finally came up with this idea of duplicating the lightning bolts that I liked and then I just warped them around the black base. So now that I had a little thing to follow I was good. I placed the lightning bolt in, I warp it, and I changed the color. And I didn't want this logo to just be good. No, I wanted it to be great. I took as much time as possible on each lightning bolt to make sure I got it just perfect. Honestly, I don't want to bore you guys with anything, so this is a sped up version of me doing all the lightning bolts. This is sped up 57 times. After I got a base set of lightning bolts in place, I started adding these weird little lightning effects. It's pretty cool what all these small little details can do in the end. I then added a big glow to the whole thing, pink and green, just to add some more contrast. Honestly, up to this point, I didn't know how it was going to look, but this has really changed my opinion. These glows really help the final product. Then I thought this background's really boring, so let's spice it up a little bit with a nice, cloudy, stormy sky. I then went in with a hard brush and I drew in my own little lightning bolts. This is actually really cool and it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. There was no rhyme or reason to anything I did. I basically just made a bunch of squiggles with my brush and uh, yeah, it came out kind of nice. Now these squiggles were the very last thing I did before adding some final effects. And yeah, this is the final product. And honestly, I've got to say out of all my series of making apps and redesigning them, this is one of my favorites. The old TikTok logo was just a little bit boring for my liking and I love the way this turned out. The next app I decided to create was Facebook. Yes, I know Facebook is like an app for old people or whatever. But you can't forget it. It's the original social media. And I know what you guys are thinking, I'm not just going to put a face on a book. That's stupid. I had an idea from the beginning of this, so I put in this wall and I put in a book as well. I know, it's basic, but I promise it's gonna look good. I took out these letters, these like mystic looking letters, and I duplicated them a bunch onto the pages. I don't know what language it is, it's probably English or Spanish. Baby, you got something in your nose. After putting them on each page, I just deleted part of it, I faded it out to make it look like it was worn down. Then I put shadows all under the book to make it look like it was actually on this ground. I then had to match the lighting of the ground to the book, so I made those crevices a little bit darker. After that, I grabbed the Facebook logo and I put it down on top of the book, and then I masked out the F. I then realized that if this was an app, it would look kind of weird if the book was centered like this and there was just the F on one side of the page. So I had to move the whole book over. Now the F was looking a little bit flat, so I had to make it 3D. I just used the pen tool and used a dark blue color. I then took this fantasy looking overlay and I just put it on the F. I also made some parts of the F brighter and made it glow in certain places. If you can't tell by now, the whole gist of this was to try to make it look fantasy and magical. And to continue with that theme, I started adding more glows and highlights to the paper just to make it look like that F is really there and it's interacting with the environment. Then obviously, if you want something magical and fantasy, you have to add particles. So I grabbed this dust overlay and I spread that around, made sure everything looked a little bit more majestic. As you can see, I also put these smoke overlays. They really just served as some extra fantasy elements. I don't really know what they were supposed to be. Supposed to, what the heck is a supposed to D mean? Anyway, these final little elements really added a great touch to the end product, and I'm glad I put them in there. Something just fell off though, so I added a shadow into the Facebook F just to make it look like it was actually on the paper, and goodness gracious, this helped so much. If there's one piece of advice that I'd like to give to anyone aspiring to be a Photoshop artist, it is to make sure you get shadows and highlights correct because it can make or break your piece. Anyway, after that, I decided to add in a camera raw filter just to add some extra touches, fix up some colors, and this is our final product. 
Honestly, this is not my favorite one that I've done. I still like it, but it's just, it's just not that cool. But maybe y'all disagree and this is your favorite one. I doubt it, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one, but I'm trying to get back into the groove of making videos again. So I figured I'd just start with a short one, see how it does, and uh, we'll go from here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.